and welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about the Superbox S6 Ultra, and this is across all the Superboxes that you can do. Um, getting into the developer options, if you guys want some more options, more control, um, I'm going to show you guys how to get there. Very, very simple. I've done some videos on this before. Some people are asking me on an updated one, so I'm going to show you guys that how to do it. If you guys are brand new to the channel, consider subscribing. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Try to get you guys here all the latest and greatest. If you guys are interested in this, shoot me an email, rojasentertainment at gmail.com. And I will get you guys a really, really good deal. And then if I'm out, check the description below. I will leave a link to this. Okay, let's come here to my device. And I'm going to show you guys exactly how this thing works. Um, I'm going to come all the way down here towards the bottom. And I'm going to show you guys here this little cog. When you click this, what you want to do is come to device preference. You want to go to about and then come all the way to the bottom and you want to click on Android TV OS build. Click on this, I think it's like seven times and it says uh, you are now a developer. Once you do that, click the back button once. And now that will give you uh, all the access that you need. Now, just to go um, a little bit further into this, um, you do have like kernel versions, Android TV patch uh, level. You have your flash, your your RAM, um, the model status. If you need a reset for whatever reason, this is where you do it. But I wouldn't just jump into this right away. Um, I would. I would contact your manufacturer first before you do it. Now there is a system update here that I wanted to talk about is, um, it says permission require request storage permission, just hit okay. You're gonna get a pop-up like this, just hit allow. And what it does, it checks everything. It says no updates available. If it needs it, this is where you're gonna wanna do it. Now the rest of the options, this you're gonna have your date time here, your language, keyboard, you have different inputs. You do have your display and sound right here. So text scaling, you have enable pass through, which I will turn that on if, you, if you're trying to get some sound. And then of course you got some advanced display and then advanced sound settings. So if you know what you're doing, when you unlock developer options, all that stuff is gonna be like scattered within everything. It doesn't open up one area like all the other um, devices do. So just keep that in mind when you're doing it. You don't see the option here. so. Here we go. This tells you your internal storage. What do you have? It tells you everything that's available. Um, you just click on whatever it is. Then you can see all apps, get to the permissions, like whatever it is that you're going to want to do. Um, security and restrictions, allow apps from unknown sources. Just everything should be turned on, I think, automatically here as you're installing things. So just keep that in mind when you are uh, messing around. So they really did a, uh, they did some work on this thing so that way things aren't just easy, easily accessible. You really have to know what you're doing because people do get in here and kind of like mess things up. So you do have your Google Assist. You have Chromecast built in, screen saver, energy saver, location, accessibility. And then if you need to restart it, you can. Um, here is the app section just like the other one. And then with accounts and sign in, this is going to be the area that you could add your your google stuff so very very simple to use yeah everything on this thing is just straight to the point nothing crazy it's all there wanted to give you guys a really quick and short video on how to get there and how to go through all the settings um super simple so let me know what you guys think in the comment section below um, i know some people really do like to see developer options as a category in its own um, but the way they did it was they they made it so it's not just in one spot because it's been known for people to brick or if you guys don't know what brick means it's pretty much breaking your device where you can't it becomes a doorstop pretty much so um, everything just got moved around just a little bit so that way you guys know what you're looking for cool let me know what you guys think in the comment section below try to get you guys here taken care of with as much as i can with these devices so you guys take care take care of each other and i'll see you guys in the next one